if there is a SQL login that application uses to connect to the principal database, you need to copy the logins to the mirror server. Okay, so you have to use one of the Microsoft uh, provided uh, stored procedure to transfer the logins from principal database to mirror database. Uh, otherwise, you can use the SSIS to copy the uh, logins from one server to another server. In our case, principal to mirror. The, the reason is if principal server goes down and application tries to connect to the mirror server, then the SID is not going to match and application cannot use the login to connect to the databases. Even though the login might be same, you can create the same login on both the servers, but SID cannot match on the new principal server, that is the old mirror server. When the database failover occurs, then application cannot connect. Okay, so that is one reason you need to copy the logins, including this uh, uh, SID on the mirror server. Okay, that is uh, one issue generally uh, we will get for application cannot connect to a database in case of failover. Let's discuss about a rolling upgrade. Right now, what we have is uh, SQL 2008 R2 RTM version. So this is the principal server. On the mirror server, we have RTM version. Okay, the version number should be same. That is the mirroring requir requirement. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to upgrade mirror server to the cumulative update 4. That is the latest uh, update for the SQL Server 2008 R2. As of today, uh, cumulative update 4, that is the latest. Okay, I downloaded the uh, cumulative update 4 for 2008 R2 and I'm going to apply it to the mirror instance, that is SQL INST2. Before I upgrade the mirror server, I need to change the operating mode for any of the mirror databases from synchronous mode to asynchronous mode. Okay, that is recommended. That is not requirement, uh, that is recommended. Okay, so I'm going to change that. And we can upgrade even without doing that. Okay, so first I change the operating modes. Next step is I'm going to pass it, suspend the mirror session for all the mirror databases on the principal server. Okay, all right. Let's install uh, cumulative update 4 for the mirror server that is SQL INST2. I have downloaded the cumulative update package and I'm going to extract and execute that, which will update the mirror server.
and I am going to select the mirror server SQL INST2. Okay, upgrade has been completed. Uh, it says we need to restart the computer. Okay, we'll go ahead and restart it. I'll pass the video here and I'll come back uh, after I restart the computer. I just restarted my computer. As you can see here, the principal server, it is RTM version and uh, the mirror instance it has got uh, the new number 1746 so it is updated to cumulative update 4 and still the mirroring session is in suspended mode because we pass the uh, mirroring session for both the databases okay so let us see what product level they have On principle, we have RTM version as it says. Okay, uh, it is not going to say uh, SP1 or SP2 because uh, as we can see here, uh, cumulative updates are still uh, whatever the previous major release major uh, build number which is uh, service pack 1 RTM service pack 2 like that now let's uh, resume the mirroring session All right, the mirroring is continued. So right now we have the mirroring between these two servers. One server is uh, lower version, so and mirror server is higher version, which is which is uh, fine, which is allowed. Okay. Now let's do the reverse. Okay, let's fail over and see if mirroring is continued and right now it is in asynchronous mode I am going to do manual failover okay it says so we have to change it to synchronous mode before I fail over that's fine and now I'm going to failover, manual failover to mirror server, INST2. Okay, so it is done. Alright, it looks like we can mirror cumulative update a higher number to a lower number. Okay. So these cumulative updates are not really considered as a next version until they release the major release uh, service pack 1 still whatever the cumulative updates uh, that is in between RTM and service pack 1 still considered as RTM. So that is why I think you know uh, the mirroring session is uh, continued the database synchronous that means mirroring is good. So now we have the upper uh, build number here. And here for the RTM, definitely a lower number, so mirroring can be done. This document shows the procedure for upgrading the servers. This is the rolling upgrade document. Okay, before upgrading the servers, we need to first identify the 
operating mode. If it is in high performance mode, then we can straight away continue with the upgrade procedure. If it is in high safety mode, then we need to convert it to high performance mode. If it is in high availability mode, remove the witness server, switch it to high performance mode and continue with the rolling upgrade procedure. Okay. Whatever the operating mode, bring it to the high performance mode first and then start rolling upgrade process. Okay. Uh, so far what we have done is we upgraded the mirror server. We suspended the mirror session, upgrade the mirror server and resumed the mirroring session. Okay. And to update the original principal server, again we have to suspend the mirroring session, upgrade the original principal server and resume the mirroring session. Okay. Once that is done, you can change it back to the way it was originally. Okay. If it is in high performance mode, then just leave it. Otherwise, uh, change the operating mode to whatever it was originally. Okay. Then that completes the rolling upgrade process.